Good morning, Miami. Cup of coffee to start. So today we're going to hunt some houses for a good friend of mine and client of mine as well. They're looking to buy something that is, that is under development and will be ready within six to eight months. So I have to find something that is not on the market because we already search everything on the market. And unfortunately, there is not that much to choose from. So let's take a look at what's out there. Это секрет, я тебе говорю. Не-не-не, нормально. И что говоришь? Это новое, новое строение. Там знаешь как, там есть сразу через дорогу от океана здание, которое двух трехэтажных. What just happened? Someone interrupted us. The girl, she saw my YouTube channel, my vlogs. Actually, she's a Russian girl and she saw my other YouTube channel that's in Russia. And she was so kind of excited to say hi. She lives here in Surfside, by the way. And she also, a while ago, maybe like a couple of years ago, asked me if uh, we can help her to sell her property. But then she decided to change her mind. But any, anyway, very nice girl. She invited us for tomorrow's tennis uh, tournament somewhere in the Boyton Beach. Are we going? I guess so. Yeah, let's go. Anything else, but don't go with me. Why are you following me? <laughs> I mean, like, seriously. Come on. Let's go. Let's find some houses. So what are we looking for? We are looking for, as I mentioned, house for a good friend of mine. They just moved recently to Miami a few months ago and they need a place, they want to buy their own something, but they looking for their first place in Miami. So this one might work. Take a look at this one. Shell is done, so it's not it's not that far away, I would say about for sure less than a year, probably around six months they can make it. But it depends on the contractor how fast they move. But in reality that house would work. Off market houses, it means when house is not listed for sale on the market. Take a look at this one. That one is not gonna work because it's not even foundation there yet. So we we'll think about a year for sure. First of all, there is not that many houses on the market in Miami as of now. The second, that those that are available, that does not fit their criteria. That's why we're looking for off market. One thing, we can find something that nobody has access to it because it's not on the market. And the second is, I can deal directly with the owner of the house, most likely. Not all the time, but big chance. Some people, they build it for themselves. You know, I'm just asking and they say, look, it's not for sale, it's a custom build for, for the owner, right? But some houses, they might be available for sale. They just not, they did not put it on the market yet. I can tell you a story from my experience. I had a friend of mine, he was looking for house. We were searching on the Venetian Islands, Hibiscus, Palm Islands, and there was nothing that he was really like. And I found house that was under construction again, right? It was not for sale, but the house was kind of built for end user. And unfortunately, owner of that house passed away and his kids decided to sell that property. And pretty much I was there at the right, as we said, the right time, right, in the right place. And we ended up buying that house. It was off market. My uh, client paid 19 million for it and he was offered 25 <laughs> once we were in the contract within like I would say after two weeks so he got a good deal on the price plus it was something that he really likes so once i see something that interested i just approach developers like construction guys right if they speak english <laughs> yeah. we found something looks like um pretty good to me so guys, here's a house. I found, as I said, something that might work. I'm gonna talk to guys inside and I'll let you know. Okay, let's see what's for sale in here. We're at Bay Harbor Island, guys. Looks good to me. No, okay, I'll find out with him. Okay. Thanks, man. all right, take care. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah. No, by the way, I know developer of this uh, house is Ricardo. He also building something at uh, Golden Beach. I'm gonna show one of his houses in the Golden Beach next week to my another client. <laughs> Uh, 
at Convention Center. We came here. So we're here at the Propy Conference. Yeah, and why we're we here? Because I'm familiar with the crypto transactions. So far, I've done like a few of them. And I ended up becoming one of the speakers here at the panels about uh, crypto transactions, real estate, and how is the crypto involved in the real estate. Uh, thank you. That's my panel, I have to be there. <laughs> and uh, also... Hi guys, my name is Dennis. I'm in uh, Miami for 15 years. I've been doing real estate for 10 years. I'm the owner and uh, broker of the company. I've been uh, in the crypto field for about like five years and I've done multiple transactions so far. In the resales, new developments with the names like uh, Waldorf Astoria, St. Regis, Cipriani and many others. And uh, he seems interested. So how are you going to fund this? All cash. Okay, great. Where is that from? Crypto. It's likely a scam. So it's a pig, it's called the pig butchering scam. Uh, they kind of fatten you up. They kind of make you feel good that it's a legit transaction of the real money coming in. And then what happens is they try to teach you how to set up and grow your money, and then they just rip you off. Have more experience with crypto than most people, and even then, I was scared. So it, it, there's a lot of things that can happen, and just having that education in place is the most important part. So social media is a must, in my opinion. Uh, by the way, I've had clients from, yeah, from social media. I, I had one client, he's a friend of my friend. Um, I'm not gonna go into details, but anyway, they've been working with another uh, agent. Uh, I've been introduced to them. They followed me on Instagram for, um, I don't know, like sometime, a couple of months maybe. And then they approached me and they asked if I can help them with a crypto transaction. It was a five point, almost 5.5 million uh, sale. and. The thing is, they follow me for a couple of months on the social media and they saw that I'm familiar with that topic and that's why they approached me. I had that advantage from, uh, from other agents. But in reality, I think um, all knowledge is pretty open and uh, from my experience, uh, guys in the crypto field, they're super friendly. You can ask questions, they always tell you, they like, they're excited about their projects and how this things or that thing works. So just ask questions and uh, learn. We did it. It was a good panel, you know. I learned something too from other guys. I like to hear something new. It means I'm not wasting my time. Let's go. We're going to groundbreaking, Waldorf Astoria. First hundred stories building in Miami. Over a thousand square foot high in the downtown Miami. That's where we're going. Are you ready? Uh, so we are at the groundbreaking Waldorf Astoria. So let me tell you what is a groundbreaking. Groundbreaking is pretty much event when the building development is about to start construction. It's kind of party, let's put it that way. Event, because why I said party, because you have a lot of beautiful people, food, drinks, everybody's happy. This project is about to start construction, right? About to be built. So, and that's why we are here. We sold some units. We. <laughs> we, I call myself as we. We sold some units here, that's why we were invite, invited here. And we always stop by events like this to say hi, to see our buyers and to see sales guys from the in-house team. So that's about it. Let's go, I'll show you. Model unit, exactly. That, that, that's what I was about to say. I think this is one of the best layouts, in my opinion. Oh, by the way, those fake views, but that's the way they should be. So, um, this is three bedroom model unit. Three bedroom, three and a half. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous marble. Kitchens, you have a, this one is a corner unit. It has own balconies enclosed. The great part about balconies in Miami, when they enclosed, you don't have wind. When you're on like 40s, 50s or 60s floors, you still can enjoy it any time of the year. Plus, every unit comes with the summer kitchens, build out with the closets, and 
even window treatment. LED, we have a lot of people today, so it's hard to do proper tour, but look guys, it is what it is. Let's go, let's hang out on the balcony. Oh, we have to see those ba uh, bathrooms, by the way, the master bathroom with the bathtub that faces the bay. Yeah, especially from floors like 20 up, it's gonna have unbeatable views. I have a couple of clients, they purchased those, uh, those lines. One is a uh, Lino one, it's gonna have the same bathtub. Look at this view. So, what else? Oh, let's go, let's see other part, by the way. <laughs> you have to see it, you have to show it. Please show it and look at the... It's a dense unit, it's a corner unit with about 180 views. Yeah, 180 degrees views. Wolf appliances, top of the line of every bedroom. Has a great views of the city, of the bay. By the way, the bathroom, they're going to be built out the way you see it. With the back um, splash and uh, marble all over the floor, walls. Did you guys hear that? She just said, not bad. Reels, I'm doing well. I'm enjoying my uh, sitting on that uh, cold marble in our <laughs> in warm Miami weather. So if you buy three bedrooms here like that, yeah, the, the, that bed is included. I'll take care of it. I, I can do build out of that room like that. But honestly, yeah, they had uh, studios, one bedrooms, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, four bedrooms, half floor units, full floor penthouses, but they pretty much sold out almost everything. As I mentioned, 86% and um, there is nothing, I would say, to choose from, unfortunately. But fortunately for other clients, I had one client, one of the first one, he bought it at the beginning of the sales. He paid 2.5 for two bedroom unit, 2,000 square feet. And now they're, exactly. And now they're about like 3.5, 3.7 for the last units they were selling the same uh, same size, same floor plan. HOA is about $1.50, around that. It's average right now, $1.50. And they going to have a um, beach club, beach service here as well. It's also, no, really, that's the um, best part about new buildings here in uh, downtown Miami. They do provide beach services. And it's important for people who doesn't want to live on, a, on the Miami beach, for example, they want to stay here in the Brickell, Edgewater, like those type of kind of, they have a, like for example, in um, Aston Martin, I uh, also <laughs> I also had sales there. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but <laughs> it is what it is. Look, uh, they do have, they will have actually. The boat, it takes you from the building to Key Biscayne. They have a agreement with the Ritz Carlton on the Key Biscayne and uh, for all residents, they can use their beach services. So you can go by the boat here. Uh, car, like a building car, let's put it that way. It will take you from the building to Miami Beach. We're going to dig some dirt. Here's the lot. They will build it right here, right in front of the bay side. And here what they do, they do a green initiative. That's how they call it. So they kind of invest in like developer, they invest in some money in that area. They will, uh, let's put it that way, they make it more nicer. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If not, that's your problem. And I'll see you next time.